I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Market Minute from Monday, September 11th. Soybeans and corn both closed higher, getting ready for the USDA's supply, demand, and production numbers, which are out on Tuesday at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. On average, ahead of the numbers, the trade does expect the USDA to lower their yield projections this year. That follows drought in many key U.S. growing areas and another dry finish to this year's growing season. Wheat closed lower, continuing to keep an eye on the slow export demand as Russia dominates the markets, with any uh, concerns about global weather kind of on the back burner still at this point. The trade isn't expecting a lot of changes in the USDA's global supply and demand numbers for wheat. Live and feeder cattle were higher, getting ready for this week's widespread direct cash cattle business. Pretty typical Monday, the big feature was the distribution of the show list. Box beef was down at midday. And hogs closed higher with the pork carcass cutout value up solidly at midday, trying to build on Friday's sharply higher close. With the Market Minute for Monday, September 11th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.